Rosie. Dad, what the hell? You just woke me up from my favorite dream. I don't care how good your dream was, it's time to go to school. No, I don't want to go to school. I just want to stay home and rest. Well you have to go to school whether you like it or not because there are things you need to learn. I don't care. I want to stay home. I'm not going to school. Rosie, if you don't get out of bed right now, I will take you to school before you even know it. Prove it then. Fine. Looks like I'll have to do it the hard way. Hey, what are you doing? Put me down right now. No 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 There. My work here is done. Now get inside before I call the police. G R R R R R R R R R R R R. Why does my dad always take me to school? Man, every time I want to have a day of rest, my parents remind me that I have school and send me there. This is absolute madness. I must think of a way to get revenge on my parents and the school. But what should I do? Oh. I just got the perfect idea. I am going to create a fake lockdown at my school and put everyone in a state of panic. Ha 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 ha. Good morning class. Today we will start off by doing math. Who can tell me what 9 times 8 is? The answer is 72. You are correct, Kalo. Who can tell me what 8 times 6 is? The answer is 48. You're right as well, Leo. Who can tell me what 3 times 7 is? The answer is 21. That is correct, Clementine. Who can tell me what 9 times 12 is? Rosie? May I go to the bathroom? <laughs> that is not the correct answer, and no, you may not go to the restroom. But why, Ms. Martin? Because Rosie, every single time you ask to go to the bathroom, that's just your excuse to get out of the classroom to do something bad, and I will not tolerate it this time. But I really have to go this time, it's an emergency. Well Rosie, if you really had to go to the bathroom, why didn't you go before school started? Class started like one minute ago. I am still not letting you go to the bathroom. Okay fine. If you won't let me go to the bathroom, I'll just use the bathroom right here. Okay, 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 fine. You may go to the restroom. But you better be back here in five minutes or it's an after-school detention. Thank you so much. Ha 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 that was hilarious. Ms. Martin will fall for anything if I threaten her. Anyways, time to make this false alarm. Oh God, I should not have eaten Chinese takeout for breakfast this morning. I think I'm going to hurl. I need to use the bathroom, quick. Perfect. The coast is clear. Now I need to find the intercom. Here it is. Now I will change my voice to sound like the principal using Go Animate Logic. Ouch! Pulling and hitting my vocal cords really does hurt. Anyways, let's do this. Attention students, teachers, and staff. This is not a drill. We are having an emergency lockdown. There is a man outside with an AK-47 and a butcher knife. Teachers, lock your doors and windows, and turn off all light switches, computers, cell phones, and other electronics that may be visible in the dark. Get under your desks immediately and be as quiet as possible. If you are out in the hallway, run to the nearest classroom and find a good hiding spot. The police, FBI, CIA, 
rescue squad, and more are on their way. Until then, please do not leave from your hiding spot. Further instructions will be given soon. Oh no, he's in the school. Everyone, please stay calm. Be as still and as quiet as possible. Oh no. He's in the office. Wa a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a Ha 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 That was hilarious. Now everyone is in panic. Let's get back to class before I get caught. Little girl, what in God's name are you doing out in the hallway when there is a mass murderer in the school? Didn't you hear the announcement? Come on, get inside my classroom right now before he sees us. I'm sorry, but all the desks are taken. But you can hide behind that bookshelf. Attention everyone. I'm an officer from the government police department. We came here to tell you that this lockdown was a false alarm. However, this lockdown is not over yet, because we are looking through the security cameras to find the person who did this. So in the meantime, please do not leave your current positions. I think you're the one we want. Come with me right now. I have her right here. Thank you, officer. So Rosie, do you know why I called you in here? Oh never mind. My security cameras caught you sneaking into my office and faking a lockdown. Do you know what you caused by this? You put the entire school under a state of panic. Several students were traumatized really badly, and you even made some kids go to the hospital because they needed paramedics. So Rosie, what do you have to say for yourself about this? Well. It was only meant to be a harmless prank. I just wanted to play a joke on the school. I didn't think that the police would show up, or any of this would have happened. So, you think after all of what you did, this was harmless? No, it was not. Because of you, many people are traumatized. Several students are hospitalized and in need of medical attention. Some students even got so scared that they now have to wear an oxygen mask for about a week and it is imperative that they seek medical attention every day. This behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated, that's it. I am calling your parents to come here so we can talk about consequences and your behavior. No 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 no. Please, don't call my parents. I am really sorry. I promise this will never happen again. Hello, is this Mr. and Mrs. Anderson? This is about Rosie, and yes, she is in trouble. She snuck into my office while I was gone and created a fake lockdown. Can you please come to the school in about 15 minutes? Okay, see you then. Your parents are on their way. Hello Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. As you already know, Rosie created a fake lockdown. Because of this. Many students are traumatized, and some are even in the hospital because they need medical attention for the next week. Your daughter is suspended for five months. And she will be responsible to pay for all of the students' medical bills as well. Is that understood? Yes, that is understood. Good. You are all free to go. Come on Rosie, we are going home right now. You are in huge trouble. Um, 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 mom and dad, you're not angry at me, are you? Angry does not begin to describe what you just did back there. I can't even begin to believe you made a fake lockdown and put everyone in a state of panic. This has got to be one of the worst things you have ever done. But mom and dad, it was just supposed to be a harmless prank. No. Harmless? Lockdowns are very serious. Because of you. Many students are hospitalized and in critical condition. When we get home, we are going to watch the news to see the damage you've caused. Oh yeah. You're definitely standing. But... Stand. 
Hello, and welcome back to GNN News, and we indeed have some breaking news. About an hour ago, at a local school, is traumatized because a student has made a fake lockdown. And now, we bring you live inside the school. Thank you Alan. As you can see, I am here in the terrorized school, and I will be interviewing some people about what they experienced during the lockdown. First, we will be interviewing the principal of this school, Mrs. Kimberly. So Mrs. Kimberly, what do you have to say about it? So it all started when I was in my office, but after a while I didn't feel so good. So I rushed as fast as I could to the bathroom, but a moment later, I heard someone won the intercom with the same voice as mine announcing that the school was on lockdown. I had no idea what was going on, but I also heard that the authorities were on their way. So I called 911 to make sure they were coming. Then we looked through the security cameras to find the person who did it, and it was Rosie Anderson. And Rosie, if you are watching this, I hope you understand what you have done. You are one of my worst students of all time. Okay, thank you. Next up is the student's teacher, Ms. Martin. Rosie is one of my worst students. I can't believe I actually let her go to the bathroom when I knew she was going to do something bad. I also can't believe she would do something like this. This has got to be the worst thing she has ever done. And Rosie, if you are watching this, I am never, ever, ever, ever letting you use the bathroom again in my class. I am so disappointed in you right now. Okay, thank you. Next, we have a witness of this particular student, Ms. Sally. So it all began when I was teaching my class about history, when suddenly, we heard on the intercom that the school was on lockdown. While I was getting everyone in my classroom, I saw a little girl running through the hallway. I didn't know why she wasn't in her classroom, but I made her come into my class and hide behind the bookshelf. When the police arrived, they found out it was actually the girl who I saw in the hallway. Okay, thank you for your report. Last but not least, we have one of the police officers that were alerted to the school. So officer, describe what happened. Well, we got an alert to come to this school, because it was experiencing a lockdown. But when we arrived, we found out that someone faked the lockdown. After checking through the security cameras in the office, we found out that it was Rosie who did it. Anything else to say? Rosie, if you're watching this, you and your family will have to pay $5,000 to pay for all of the students' medical bills. Also, we've decided to set you up with a restraining order for the next five months. If you step 25 feet from this school, you will be arrested. Thank you, officer. Anyways, that's all the time we have for now. We now bring you back to Alan. Thank you, Joey. Anyways, that just concludes this important news update. Stay tuned for more GNN news, and have a good rest of your day. Oh, 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 Rosie. How dare you make a fake lockdown at school? Now because of you, we have to pay thousands of dollars. That is so freaking it. Today is punishment day. No 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 no. Not another punishment day. First punishment, Kalo beating you up. No Caillou. Please, don't beat me up. Why? That's what you get for causing trouble at school. Second punishment, destroying your laptop. No 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 no. Not my precious HP laptop. Wa a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a My laptop is gone. Third punishment, drinking this bottle of hot sauce. Oh no 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 no. Please. I don't want to drink it. Drink it right now or you will have extra punishments. 
ow, 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 it burns, it burns, it burns, it burns, it burns, it burns, oh, 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 oh. Fourth punishment, watching Sesame Street. Oh no, not Sesame Street, no, 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 I hate that show. Oh my god, that show was so horrible. That was pure torture. Fifth and final punishment. You are grounded, 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 grounded for 18 billion centuries. Go to your room right now. Wow.